Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Red Lantern, where Chopper is waiting for us in the car once again as we check on that van that... <laughs> can you imagine just leaving an abandoned van way, way behind us? Like two or three days from our little cabin with the Red Lantern. But hey, at least it still works, and it looks like it even has a nice little sleeper bed that I'm probably sure is full of tons of dog fur. But we are back checking out the van and thinking about our next run with our dogs. We've actually already managed to make it to the cabin with all eight of the puppers that we can take out on our runs. And now, well, nine, Chomper, I haven't forgotten you. I was thinking about the other dogs that we can adopt on the way. Don't worry, buddy. I know you're still there. And now I'm actually thinking that we still have a little ways to go on Slayer's story, right? We still haven't figured out what she wants to do in life. And we have everybody else's story. Gail really loves running and really loves sticking her nose right against porcupines. We've got Noodle, who really, really loves bonding with the wild wolves and helping the animals that are in need. Stilton, our old boy, is the most experienced out of all of the dog teams. And he actually helps get us to the cabin when we get lost lost when we're tired and not sure about where to go stilton's able to use his instincts and pull us along and let us know if we should stop for prey or if we need to push our way through a delusion of some sort of dancing elk in front of me and then of course our first team that we ran with we have got iggy who is always going to be there to protect us and then we've also got our very shy finn who really took a long time to warm up to us but she does love skunks so we know that about her and then, of course, we have Barkley, who is very big on finding his voice and being able to use his bark instead of use his bite to go ahead and try to protect us. And our wonderful Berkeley. No, I did it again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dang it. Why do I forget your name? You Bodega. Our wonderful Bodega. It's because there's two dogs with B names there and it throws me off. Oh my goodness and Bodega, who is very protective and wants to make sure that he keeps us safe, especially when the wolverines come around and start messing with us, or even when the wolves come around and start messing with us. So ironically, guys, it seems like we ended up with the most experienced team from our second group because Stilton really can help out and Noodle really helps us bond with the wild. And then we ended up with our most protective and really loyal going to throw themselves in front of a charging bear or a charging muskox team when we have Barkley and when we've got Iggy in the first team. And we also found pretty much all of the resources that we need to really have better tools with both teams. Axes, little dog booties, fire starters. And we found the trap with both of them. And we managed to find the fire, the fire, or excuse me, the gun cleaner with the first loyal little pack. And we found the fishing rod with the second very experienced little pack. But I'm wondering guys, what would happen if we ended up mixing the packs together. Because I've heard that what happens is that each group of dogs has a different possibility of having their own stories together. There's apparently a story we have not yet seen between Chomper and Iggy, and apparently there's a lot of different stories that start to emerge with the choices that we can make in the Alaskan wilderness, depending on which group of dogs we have with us. So I'm thinking that we need to go ahead and we'll take a break from having these two groups of dogs. And we might actually go ahead and try mixing the dog groups together to see if perhaps doing that will allow Slayer to step forward and we can finally learn Slayer's story. So I'm going to go ahead and make my choices. And then we're going to go on another run with our dogs. Once again, for the role play aspect of it, just saying that, you know, we're actually going on a run with them. Uh, we already know all of them. They already all live with us at the cabin and we're just going on another new experienced run. And once again, I have forgotten to bring along, you know, anything useful. <laughs> So all right, let me pick out this mix of a team and then I would really love to see your guys comments on who you think we should mix together because there are supposedly some special events between some of the dogs that are really dependent on if they're in the same team or not. So who do you think we should bring with us? I'm going to do my best to pick a good team to bring out Slayer's personality and we'll start running. Uh, Slayer? All right, Slayer, you're definitely going to be one of the pups that we bring with us. 
I mean, it's going to be trying to figure out your story after all. And I really love the aesthetic of how they decorated your doghouse. It's adorable. I, you know, maybe we can plant some roses next to, well, not next to your kennel. I don't want you to get it scratched, but somewhere around the cabin. What do you think about that, girl? I'm just going to come a little closer to get a good look at you. Never mind. I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. We're going to figure you out, Slayer. family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Oh. Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. All right, let's see. And then what should we go ahead and tell her this time? There are so many options for responses. I really want to try something we haven't done before, even though we've picked up Slayer from the, this kennel already in the past. You have to be prepared for anything. I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll run when we need to. You know what? I'm not sure if what we're going to, like what's going to happen, but I think it's going to be a good time, Slayer. I can't say for sure I know what's going to happen on this trip to the cabin. Sounds like it should be pretty straightforward. But I know nothing is, so we'll just try to follow what we think is right. Well, Slayer, what do you think? I've got a good pup with me, too. Oh, I think you'll like him. Come on, Slayer. I really think that you're going to feel better this time. I mean, I know we haven't figured out your story yet, but we've learned really to have a lot of confidence in ourselves. And once you have that, pretty much everything else in life is a lot easier. <laughs> I wish I had figured that out years and years ago. Come on, girl. Slayer, if you're ready, I am, too. All right, let's see if we can learn a little bit more about her by our Welcome responses to the van, this Slayer. time. Chomper, say hi. <laughs> You're just a big sweetheart. Hi, with sweetie. a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary back there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. Let's see, but we'll manage, but we'll find our limits. But we have to know we're ready. We'll manage. I think, did I say that last time? Uh, let's go ahead and say, but we'll find our limits this time. I want to say something different so maybe we can learn a little bit more about Slayer. No, let's actually say, but we have to know we're ready. Even though we're completely not ready, trust me. Look, we don't even have the little post-it notes that say anything about having the axe with us, the fishing rod, fire starter, dog booties, gun cleaner, extra food, but Let's just go ahead and use this response and see what she says this time. If I can handle things out here, I'll be fine for what's back in the city. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. You are stronger than you expect, girl. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. <laughs> All right, Noodle, look at you. This is gonna be awesome. You sound perfect, or do you always just lay on the ground? You don't look very enthusiastic. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Hey, buddy. See, he just really wants somebody to believe in him and to be able to go out and adventure again. I understand that. I mean, it's really hard if you feel like your heart is meant for adventure and discovery and testing your limits somewhere out there in the world somehow against a project to just kind of go through the motions of living day after day. Come on, Noodle. I think you're going to be a perfect addition to the team yet again. Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? And maybe we'll find Vale, for all we know. The, that's the name that we've given to the wolf. Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. <laughs> he's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. All right, all right, let's see. We'll find a good compromise. How about that, Noodle? How about I take the lead on most decisions, but if I'm unsure, you can help me out. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. <sighs> a How's noodle that nap zone. 
Sounds pretty adorable to me. <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. Igloo! Where are you, girl? <laughs> oh, Iggy, come here, girl. Yeah, of course you, you have to come right with there. us. You don't have to be in the snow. Oh, she's so pretty. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, she's a good girl. Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. I'm so excited to have Iggy back with us. Maybe and she so and Chomps will have that little event. You're you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. They've got a new life to start. All right, let's see. It'll be an adventure for all of us this time. Or maybe should, did, we probably said that last time. So can you help protect us and maybe get Slayer to feel a little bit more confident, Iggy? You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. We're oh. really building a great team here. She's such a good girl. All right, our final dog is just up ahead. You wait here. And finally, rounding out the last of our team, Bodega. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Oh, look, he did pull it. <laughs> Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well. That is so hilarious. I never noticed that, but you can actually see the track through the snow where he pulled the, the whole house over to go after even more food bowls. Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. All right, come on, Bodega. And that rounds it off, guys. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. Kind of reckless, but we're gonna do it again. And there we go, guys. So we have Bodega, we have Iggy, and then we've got Noodle and we've got Slayer. And hopefully mixing the group together like that, half of the old pack, half of the new, will actually mean that we might have a chance to unlock certain events that we haven't seen yet. And maybe we'll figure out Slayer's story. She's really kind of nervous and I really, really wanna know what it is that makes her respond to us and what it is that makes like her feel like we've won her heart. All right, so we also learned about being part of the balance of nature, but if we say we're gonna have the heaviest sled, we didn't tell him that last time, so let's tell him that now. With food spilling over the sides, we'll show everyone we can handle this in the long winter ahead. And now that we've got you, I have no doubt we can carry it all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new, become someone new. I feel like I'll like wilderness me. <laughs> She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. That's really important. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. All I can't right. believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't wait to get to know y'all better and let you do what you love most. Run. And here we go. Ready once more to head out. Oh, look, I never noticed the owl before. I love being able to hunt out all those little details that we've missed out, even though we've gone on run after run after run with our dogs. Now we're gonna mix the teams. We're gonna see how they respond to all this. To Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. All it's, right, uh, the ever familiar map. Us like, but it'll get <laughs> us there. We just have to pick our path. So you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. Look at Slayer rolling around. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Slayer, Bodega, Iggy, Noodle. And the sled is all ready to go. Oh, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started. Literally the bare essentials. We're going to off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? 
All right. Two pieces of raw meat. Got the meat. meat. Pups, the kind will also. But I'm gonna have to. Come on. And then we. I can't awesome. believe we're only bringing two pieces. We'll we've got the birch bark. I scrounged up. The bullets. Just in case. So we'll make. It is the will. You know. And now the oh, med pack. And nice. most importantly, we've got one med pack. Just one. We should be able to bandage us up if something happens. You know, like in, in case you guys scratch your ball on okay. a branch or something. Well, I guess we should start. What do they say? All right. <laughs> let's go ahead and say. Uh, let's go. <laughs> that actually worked too. <laughs> I didn't know that the dogs would run if you said anything other than mush on, but I guess they're eager to run. And here we go, guys. Headed back out into the wilderness with a new team. I'm really eager to see how all of the dogs react to one another. Now here, we don't say left and right. Ha for left and G for right. So let's go. And we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to head up to the north. Ha! Under the assumption that the animal drawings that we end up having... I know, I know. Yes, yes, yes. We do get hungry. But under the assumption that the animal drawings that we end up having that are very faintly underneath the overall map will actually... Why is it uh -oh. so... Oh, it's a weasel. It's a weasel! I want to check it out! Where did it go? Come here, little guy! I can only see a tree. Oh, look at you! Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. All right, come on, guys. We're going to try to weasel our way over here. I haven't learned anything about weasels yet, even though we've run into a couple of them. Let's go ahead and try to hunt it. I don't think that's going to work, but... Seriously? You're perfect, just as you are. Okay, come on. Oh, you did that on purpose. I know that was a waste of a bullet, but I wanted to I see. an appetite. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. All right, we've got two bullets. Let's go, Chomper. I know that was a complete waste of that bullet, but we're trying to explore every single option and figure out what can happen if we try this, try a little of that. So bear with me. I know it seems a little frustrating to be like, what on earth are you doing trying to shoot a weasel of all things? That's not enough food to even make a snack for the pups. Well, we're just trying to explore every option and avenue that we currently have out here so we can find out more of the story that's hiding in the wilderness just waiting for us. And speaking of that story, we're also headed to the north because we're thinking maybe that'll take us to where the caribou and the elk really are hanging out and help to bring out some of Slayer's story because she's so afraid of elk. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's already an elk. elk. So majestic. You okay, Slayer? You're looking a little more skittish than normal. Wait, I said I was going to check it out. Slayer, you can't just run from it. Okay, fine. We'll leave. Ha! Huh. Whoa, okay, so that actually worked. Slayer is afraid of the elk, and we actually already ran into an elk first thing. Okay, I'm really, really hopeful that maybe we'll actually- Slow down a bit, uh -oh. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's a porcupine. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> Do you guys ever poke yourselves? What if you get like a mini tumbleweed back there? <laughs> oh, there tumbleweeds here. I'm just making an observation. I don't know what to do with you. It's not like Chomper can have at you. Uh, we might try to go ahead and hunt it because I don't think we've really learned a lot about porcupines either, like how hard it would be to maybe get around those quills. But, oh, guys, if we have already run into an elk, I'm really hopeful that maybe this will finally let us learn a little bit more about Slayer's story. What do you guys think? Do you think we have a good mix-up? I'm really hoping that Iggy and Bodega might bring out some of the bold bravery that really we need to have a little bit more of out of Slayer. She just ran away from an elk. Let's try to hunt this I guy. I hit you. I'm probably not going to survive out here. All right, let's try this again. Hey, at least I'm not completely ill-equipped for this journey. All Sorry. right, so now I just have to, like, clean you. Uh, I should have packed armor. Sorry, little buddy. That was worth it. We've got some more meat. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already... Let's be safe out there. The first few runs are probably going to be a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to do our best. I don't want to camp just yet. We'll go a little bit further and then we'll go ahead and camp. Uh, this is going to be a rough run on the pups because we're really going to be pushing ourselves to explore every option. And uh, it'll probably Google? take us... Should I be scared? Wait, what, what is that? What is what? Oh, oh hey! Hello. Too bad Stilton's not here. 
The ptarmigans! Oh, Stilton would be absolutely going completely nuts for them. Let's let the dogs go ahead and okay, get them. My call? You're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go! They're so well trained. Oh, we're great at catching these birds. Hey, hey Slayer participated! Try chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. Nice! Everyone back in position? Ready to go? Okay. I love the idea that we already have been at the cabin. Like the roleplay idea that we've already done these runs. Now we're just exploring to get through the winter with our dogs. Let's try maybe one more hmm. encounter. Let's go. Let's go. Ha! Ha! Just to get us a little further. It's probably going to be several runs before we make it to the cabin this time. But that'll just give us a chance to really let the dogs be a little wild. Is this oh, a squirrel? Great. A squirrel. Oh, great. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Uh, leave it alone. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, fine, Chomper. Ugh, I want him to find see, his prey drive. he's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? Look, I want Chopper to be able to, like, confront his his nemesis now and then. Oh. Oh, no. What? Chomper! You downed it in one gulp! Okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back on the trail. Come on. <laughs> okay, come on. I love the fact Chomper, that the dogs back at the lead? definitely have their prey All drive. Right. Let's mush on. Let's look for a good spot to camp. And they have definitely figured out how to survive out here in the Alaskan wilderness, even if we're kind of dragging our feet a little bit. But here we, we go. Uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a little bit of food, we're going to pet all of the dogs, and then we'll go ahead and hit the trail again as we continue to try to explore our way up to the north and see if maybe Slayer will feel a little bit more comfortable with the really bold dogs, Bodega and Iggy, who have protected us quite a bit from all of the dangers out here, being on the team. She's really shy and very afraid of elk, but... Pets, pets, pets. We'll bring out the best in her, I think. But all right, guys, if you guys could, do please go ahead and leave a like for Slayer and trying to figure out her story. And if you like the idea of mixing up the dog teams, let me know what kind of mix should we do? Because apparently there are events that will happen in between them, so rumors say at least. At the very least, even if that doesn't happen, we can be out here just enjoying what the wilderness has to offer. So all right, my friends, if you could, leave that like for them, and I will see you guys back here next time for even more adventures. Stay curious.